How you doing? I'm in my kitchen right now and I'm cooking my favourite dish. You know what it is? It's duck. Now it's very rare for me to buy duck, but this one was only $23.09 in the supermarket. As you can see, I've scored it and salted it, diamond scored it, and I'm just cooking it, or searing at least, now in the camp oven. Later on I'll come back and put the lid on and just leave it for about two hours and it's going to be absolutely delicious. Just cooking on top of the, the wood burner and it will be just magic. This is the Pekin duck. I could not grow a Pekin duck and do the whole lot myself for that sort of money. $23.90 on special. It's a massive duck. This will feed me and Dana for a couple of days. Easy. Really good. We're going to sear the outside of it, get it all seared, and then put the lid on and cook it real slow, and it'll be bloody good chopping and chewing. And the fat that comes out of it will be amazing. See, already it's crispy. The salt in it helps it crunch up, but in a camp oven, because you don't have air blowing around like some ovens, it doesn't quite crunch up as well, but it will still taste good. So I'll report back later and let you know how that duck looks when it's out of there. It'll be just delicious. Got an onion stuffed in its bum there. I'll sprinkle some rosemary on top and I've got it on top of the frame so it's off the bottom of the tear bubble. And now I'm going to put that on. Keep it down on a real low heat. This duck is ready. Oh, and it's heavy. Woohoo! Oh my lord! Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho! Okay. That's so good. I've done a salad here with mixed seasonal salad, a capskin, a bit of cheese, some lemon squirted onto it and some olive oil. The cheese is a, a brie cheese and I've got some cooked tomato down there too and some spinach so there's plenty of good stuff. Time for the moment of truth. First bit of food today. That is just divine. Duck is my favourite food. All it's got, a bit of salt, and a little bit of rosemary, not much. That's pretty much it really. Cooked in leaf lard from wild pork. And I stuffed the onion in there, and the flavour that's gone through, it's just divine. It's very rare for me to buy meat, very rare indeed. but. I've only got one duck here, a ducky, and I want to breed from her, so it's silly to kill her. And for $24 tops is what this cost. It'll feed me, and I'm going to take some out to Data. I think she's got a friend staying with her tonight, her girlfriend's there. And leave me some cold tomorrow. Oh, I'm just going to tear into this. Just divine. Oh man. Maybe there won't be any tomorrow. I think it's not going to last that long, if I'm honest. Mm. <laughs> what are you guys doing? Drinking beers? I bought you some duck. Oh. What have you made? Everything solid. We also some. Who made this? Me. <laughs> I made everything. I, I bought some roast vegetables. Oh, you got vegetables as well. Yeah. Oh, look at you're doing it. Face. Yams. Oh, I love yams. They're so yams. Yeah. Do you like yams, Holly? I love she yams. She bought the yams. Yeah. 
I've brought the Okay, I'm going to take the legs off this duck and put them on your plates, okay? So it's coming through with a hot, hot bit of duck, hot bit of duck. Over here. Mm. Who's the hungriest out of you two? Because this is the biggest one. Who's it going to be? Holly. Are you Holly? <laughs> Probably. Probably. Okay, mate. That's a big piece of duck, mate. Yum. Wheeler up. Wheeler up. Do you want some gravy or some fat on that? Gravy, I love gravy. Bit <laughs> of duck fat for Holly. It's kind of like gravy, really. It's a mixture. <laughs> I want to take a quick video. I don't know if we'll need more. Well, I'm going to leave you the rest of the duck. There we go, Holly. It's for you, ma'am. Yum. And Dana's, oh, Dana's already filming hers to show her mates. <laughs> it's already on Instagram, isn't it, honey? No. Yes, it oh is. Oh, my God. So good. Holly's into it like a cave woman. Mm. She is a cave woman. Have you a duck before, Holly? I love duck. So do you rate that, mate? So good. Yeah? Cool. Well, I'm happy. I'm happy. Oh, my God. Is that good? Oh, my God. That's so fucking good. <laughs> if you want to eat more, there's some more in the that's camp oven. That's so good. That's so good. That's good. Mm. I think it's the best reaction I've had from my duck so far from you, Dayla. And mm. Holly's, um, like, <laughs> she's totally into it. Look at her. Oh, my God. <laughs> she's ducked out. <laughs> It's my favourite. Very colourful. In a new way. It's spinach, capsicum, sunflower seeds, okay. almonds, cashews, feta, a bit of lettuce underneath. <laughs> 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 I'm like two leaves of lettuce. Two leaves. Yeah. That's about it. And then you've got the roasties. Yam, potato, kumara, onion. Is that it? Carrot? How are the roasties? Are they good? I don't know. I haven't tasted anything other than the duck. Just the duck. <laughs> the duck. <It's> too good. <laughs> That's going fast, Ada, man. I don't you know, know why I thought cutlery was a good idea, because it's a good idea. Mm. Okay, when you've finished the rest of the duck, just... Um, eat more? <laughs> yeah, eat more, have some more if you want, but um, with the camp oven, don't tip the duck fat out, okay? Mm -hmm. Keep that, because that's the important stuff. All right, guys, enjoy. I'll see you later, eh? Thanks, Dad. Okay, yeah. and go easy on the bearsies, eh? you got to look mm -hmm. after yourself. I have nothing to do tomorrow. So. <laughs> <laughs> G'day, how you doing? like the ghost of clay and it's a rainy old day move along come on holy cow we got some rain last night i know someone will be happy about that ducky will be happy about that won't you Uno. there you go hey good boy hey come on where you go you're a bit wet in there, Poe, eh? You're a bit wet, mate. Right. Good girl. Good dog. Good dog. Get eight. Here you go, eh? Good boy. Actually, you've got to try here. Come on, let's try here. Here we go. 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 There you go. Where you go? Good boy, his ass. Good boy. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Here you go. Looks like we're just about out of chicken feed, eh? Mm, not much left in there at all. Bugger all. What you up to today? I'm packing to go away. Oh cool. Are you going away today? Mm, going away tomorrow but I'm not sure if I'll stay in town. The duck's been like... Well the duck's got the... Oh shit. Oh now the chickens... Uh, the duck had the chicken, now the chickens won that fight. No, the other chicken saved the chicken. Oh did it? The other chicken ran in there to save the chicken. Oh right. Yeah. yeah they don't always get along well the chickens and the ducks do they? Sometimes they're um Yeah, no, Ducky's back on the pile now. Yeah, I might not stay here tonight. Oh yeah? Because I'm going away in the morning and I'm going from town. Okay. Did you have a good sleep? Yeah. Yeah? It was, it was really hot though. I know, I came in here and was like, I don't know how you guys handled it. I couldn't. <laughs> Holly got off in the night and I was like, what yeah, are you shower. doing? She was in the fucking shower. I had a cold shower. You had a cold shower in the night? Yeah. 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 Are we making nuggets? They're duck nuggets, like yeah, chicken nuggets, but fried duck. duck. Oh, I'll eat that. The ducky fried Is that after duck. eating the duck you had last yeah. night? Yeah. 
something else. Like something juicy else. nuggets, like when you just need them, like mm. nuggets. You're smelling a rat there, are you? Hey, dogs all hanging around. Hey, what you smelling there, boy? Hey, you good boy? Hey, hey? what you doing, B? Hey, B? Hey? <laughs> hey? Come on, come on. Good dogs. Good dogs, eh? I think they're doing a bit of rat hunting. It's really awesome having Dayla back here with me. She's been here for like maybe four more months, five more months, but while she's here, it's really cool. And when you have a lot of young people around you, it kind of makes you feel younger, keeps you on your toes a bit. She's 18 now, so she's old enough to vote and buy a drink. And they grow up fast. Grew up so fast. Who's Poe? Yep, Poe. There she goes. Where you been, Poe? You've been ratting, eh? What you doing? My neighbour Harry's got some ducks in the orchard. That looks like a Peking duck, that uh, white one on the left. And they're all mixing up with the paradise ducks, and looks like a heron in there too. All hanging out together. A lot of feed in the ground because it's been raining and everything's come to the surface. The rain has come. The size of the dam now is chock a block full. All the work's going on right beside Piggy P's house. Just gave him some grass. Pretty happy in there, he doesn't want to come out. Dayla's present I bought her for a birthday has arrived, climbing shoes. First dinner of the day, got mussel salad going on here, spinach, seasonal salad, olives, capsicums, lemon in there, red cheese, sprouts, oh, avocado, just goes on and on and on. Mm. That is a razor sharp knife honey. I hope they fit. I'm going to be gutted if they don't, I hope oh, you get... Dude, I'm going to be so gutted if they don't. Mind your fingers, it's bloody sharp, that knife. Where are you going with it? Where are you going with it? That's it, be careful. Now, there is no need to think that it is mine off it, because we need to be positive. Mm -hmm. Not optimistic. All no. right. No, they will fit. Oh, it's just I know the sizing. Yeah, they come all the way from the UK, so we can't really send them back, you know. They're not cheap. They're good quality. I know. They're the best climbing shoes. Are they the best climbing shoes? That I could Okay. <laughs> hey, they do look pretty cool, eh? Oh, they, look, they look small for your feet, though. Oh, they're meant to be small. They, oh, they, they look, look really small, man. No, no, no. They look, they look uh, large to me. They look tiny. This is good, Dad. This is good. You sure? How are they going to fit in your My feet? My red chilies look like... like I'm more worried that they'd be... They look tiny. Yeah. They can't possibly fit. You know, they're meant to be tiny. Are you serious? How are you gonna get those on? You won't get those on your feet. You've gotta like it's it's gotta hurt, you know. Jeez. The soles they look tiny, yeah. You've got your foot oh, there. They're perfect. That is so good. They're the they are the perfect climbing shoe size. Oh my god. Oh, I would not go any bigger. Wouldn't you? No way. You happy with those? Fuck yes. I'm really pleased that you uh, like them, and I'm also really pleased they fit. They are tiny. I know they're supposed to be tight. They're, I used to have some myself, they're, eh? They're meant to be, like, very small. Oh, my God, I love this. My first climbing shoes I bought were Red Chilies, and actually, I don't want to say anything bad about anything, because you never know who's watching this. <laughs> Sorry, Red Chilies, but I don't like the rubber on your shoes. You can say that. It's okay. We talk the truth on the, you know, we say what we... we Think about stuff because other people need to hear it too. You know, they might want to buy something and they get some info from you. But 
Yeah, I've been climbing for a year and a half with my red chilies. And, mm -hmm. and so what's the problem with the red chilies? Oh, yeah, just the rubber's different, you know, like it's slippery. You, like, mm -hmm. oh my god! <laughs> like somebody who doesn't climb will look at these shoes and be like, what the hell is she wearing? But if there's any climbers out there, they're going to be like, oh yeah. Plus, we'll see the mirrors. I don't know what you're talking about. Look at that edge. I'm really pleased you enjoy them. Happy birthday, sweetheart. Thanks. Fuego! Big camp! Big! Big camp! The white dogs show up so well in the dark, you can see the difference. This is why white dogs are favoured by hunters. It's one of the reasons that the Dogo Argentina breeders bred them white, they took the white from the Pyrenees. Bruno is a pure Dogo Argentino, and you see where he shows up. Compared to the likes of Poe over there, he will disappear in another 30 minutes. I'm a great believer in getting rid of all distractions in life. If I had to leave you with one word on this snap vlog today, one word to help you achieve your goals and dreams and make things happen, it's a word that starts with F. Have you guessed it yet? Okay, I'll give you a clue. It ends with S. You got it now? Well, to achieve this word, you first of all got to remove all distractions. That means get rid of Facebook, get rid of like, like, likes of me, YouTube, get rid of Instagram, get rid of all the things that take away your concentration on what it is you're trying to achieve and do. That word would be to focus. That's why lately I've been turning off my phone, put it on airplane mode just to do my work because I get so many interruptions through the day. Today was a day where people physically came around and saw me. I knew they were coming around and it was, you're all welcome to you guys that popped around this morning and this afternoon, but I'm a chatterbox and I talk too much. And I end up talking about hunting and fishing. It always comes up in pig dogs. And uh, yeah, half the day's gone. I don't regret it, because there's always tomorrow to start again. I don't know how much you can see of this light. Anyway, I'm gonna sign off. Thanks for watching. Smash the like button if you made it to the end of this snap vlog. Come on, I'm gonna go back down and uh, see you tomorrow. And be good, if you can't be good, be careful. Bye. Where you go? Where you go?